on the Muskegon channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. Dave Cackley's farting around with some kind yeah, of I, situation. Um, no, I had my I had my news here. I don't tell I did with it. I misplaced my uh Dave Cackley showing up unprepared for work today. No, I was prepared. Yeah, it was, should have been, would have been, could have been. Don't know what, I don't know what I did to my I had my new. I thought this would because I got yesterday's here, but I just I just wrote. I just wrote today's. Okay. Hang on a second. No, I got no. I did no. I had the right one. I'm sorry. I was in a panic for no reason. I had because I have yesterday's on the other side because I don't like to waste paper. Oh. Oh. So well, yeah, I got good it. Good for yeah. you, Mr. Tree Hugger. I uh, love you know that. Me. Oh, you're just the best. I don't like to waste. I don't like to waste paper. I don't blame you. I'm, I'm, I'm not, not a paper I waste. I don't like waste. I, I like waste, waste not one. Always been there. You go. Mind. I've said that absolutely for at least fifty of the fifty-four years that I've. Calm. Been it's here. been. I, I've been. I've been a little frazzled. I got to get uh, brake work done on my car. Oh boy. Anything but brake work. I won't be. You know, it won't be as bad as the last thing. It won't be as bad not. as the last thing. You could avoid it, that. You know. By what? Buying a decent car. Um. Uh, again, you have to have more monies for that. Well, if I had that. more monies, well, then, 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 why did you ask the question? <laughs> well, I'm just, I, okay. I'm just simply saying that yeah. it could be avoided if you, if you were to. Um, I just. So instead just, of if instead of getting gouged for say three to five hundred dollars every so often with the brakes, you could make one payment a month to to drive a better car yeah be consistent but, and not have okay, the it's not I, I again i i just i i, I, I got it i know it's, 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 it's but what i did was i've got the armrest there were like some holes and some shit like the stuffing coming on the armrest yeah. so i went to the went to the dollar general oh got some black duct tape and put the black duct tape over that it's good the armrest good as new nice it's the brakes that aren't as good as new it, but fortunately it's the re it's the rear brakes not the front I, so I myself have had some brake work done on the old uh, Muskegon Channel truck. So there I you am, go. Hey, you say are preaching to the choir about the brakes, sir. And 100. yesterday, had a little battery emergency, which had to be handled. Okay. So, uh, took care of the battery, just like that. You and I, we are what they call... Uh, brake buddies? Well, I wouldn't say that. Bad brake buddies? Are, um, some sort of brake things? I don't know. We are co... Um, not copacetic. Um, mm -hmm. We are well. We're somewhat similar when it comes to issues with vehicles of the last. Yeah, year. there you have it. I've I haven't had to get lawyers involved though, so that's where I'm. I think nor have no. I. Oh, nice. I thought you did for the one thing, or no? You were just that no. Was that the was car I got, and I never oh, had to okay. get really well. The, oh. the, the one lawyer had it before I had it, so I had to talk to him. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. And the thing was, I was going to take, let uh, Max, I was going to take Max driving yesterday and I'm like, yeah, I'm not, not with the rear brakes, a little iffy. I can't, uh, so you went can't like take a like chance. You're going to backhand him? Yeah. I went like, son, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to tell you all about my hurt rib, but. Oh, your you hurt your ribs? Yeah. Oh yeah. What happened? Uh, well, you know. Oh, this was the other day, wasn't it? It was at the, uh, the airfair there. Uh, okay, well, how air, did that happen? Well, well, you know, I'm glad you asked. Thank you for caring. Um, I I was reaching for some candy in the van. Uh, you know, you like to give kids <laughs> candy when you're out. What? It wasn't for me. That's a candy rule. You're the only one I know who can injure a rib in a candy-related mishap. So I'm in. I'm reaching in the van, and the candy is tucked behind the seat. Uh -huh. We keep candy in the van for kids at, at events and things like that. You know, hey. hey Hey, parents, you know, I got candy for your kids. Ha ha. Yes. They're going home with candy. Uh -huh. um, but as I'm leaning over the seat, they're, they're like in the, they're in behind the driver's seat. And I'm leaning up over the, the seat to try and, you know, maneuver myself around. And as I'm leaning up more and more to put, you know, get a better extension to get around the seat, mm -hmm. the fulcrum point is right here. Okay. And. As I'm about three quarters of the lean, maybe even a little further into it, I just feel that that squish. Oh no! It's like, uh oh, that's you strained a rib cage reaching for candy. 
I didn't strain it. That I is the most Andy. O- that is the most Andy O'Reilly injury in the history of Andy O'Reilly injuries. So I love it. Let me tell you how I let me tell you how I mastered this one on the way out okay. the door. Though here I am with this hurt rib. Two kids all standing around waiting for candy. I didn't yell out swears. No, I didn't. I didn't yell not. out. Um, I didn't call for our Lord and Savior or anything like that. I simply um, decided that well, we're not going to get it this way. So I closed the door and I went around to the the passenger side door and I climbed in and took a path of attack that way. Okay. And that, sir, was my access to the jar of fireball candy. There you that go. I passed. You remember right. fireballs? Yeah. Oh yes, I do. And that's what Suck I'm handing off. out. That's what I'm handing out. Handing out cho- choking hazards for the children. All right. Oh, perfect. Great. <laughs> Turn it into a choking hazard for them. There. I'm just saying. Hey, would you like a marble? There you go. By the way, your mouth, is gonna be on, to your, be. your mouth is going to be on fire in like eight seconds. Yeah, yeah. You'll have to keep going to the drinking fountain. That was the thing I had. If you had it in class, you had to keep excusing yourself to go to the drinking fountain to cool your mouth off. Well, you shouldn't be eating in class. Oh, Shame on you. Our teachers were a little more free with the candy. Well, that's why you ended up doing what you're doing. In the middle of the... Oh, yeah. Anyway, All right. Are we going to... Uh... Wow, Amazing astound. News today. Yeah, I think we should. All right, yes, go ahead. Let, let's do it. Could be a decent day on Wall Street. Stock futures on the rise in pre-market trading. Investors are still awaiting today's inflation report. Those figures uh, could feed into the Federal Reserve's thinking on a potential rate cut. So maybe some signs of optimism. We've been they they've been teasing us with this since like January. Could be three. No, 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 no. There could be one. Maybe. We'll Wait and see. Little teaser. Little teaser. Again, to be continued. Okay. Moving on. Mary Jane could soon be legal in one of the Dakotas, the North one. A ballot initiative to legalize recreational marijuana in the state has qualified for the November election. 24 states have already uh, legalized recreational cannabis. I'm good for going state to state with something like this. Like, you know, yeah. it, it, it all depends where you are. Okay, is, is, do we want this or do we not? When do I'm you, good with that. I like that. When do you start to draw the line, though, when it becomes such a political football? And it could be mm-hmm. anything. It could be the marijuana. It could be uh, abortion control. It could be it, it, pick your hot topic, right? I, you know what? I, it, it, you know what? It could be the and this is where I've changed. Vegan. Yes, one hundred percent. It could be any of these these hot topics mm-hmm. when it boils down to. I was down thinking to about this. Who's going to get? Who's going to? Who's going to govern? And who's going to hold mm-hmm. out on some of these things for political donations? Mm-hmm. When, well, when I do don't, we start to draw the line. Well, as far as drawing the line, I'm for the older I get, because I used to be. Why is something illegal in, uh, say, Michigan that's legal in? wyoming or colorado right. or something like that why can't we have uniform it's because we we are a melting pot of different cultures different viewpoints uh different races different ethnicities uh we uh value things differently uh in different areas of the country and yeah. that's what makes us great that's one of the things that's that's a positive so the older i get the more i'm like let's let in individual states individual municipalities even within states uh decide for themselves how they want to do this um and that to me goes it it you know depends on the issue you can make your argument for this one or that one let the you know if if, if we're going to be this you know democratic republic um you know make your case make your argument and let each individual state make that decision on their own, and I'm I'm good with that. I'm yeah. good with that for pretty much uh, pretty much everything. Okay. I, I you know I used to not be, um, but I could be also swayed the other way again. Who knows? Yeah. But right now, that's where I'm at. Okay. I'm, you know, I I I just think you get to a point where some of it's nonsense. Um, uh, yeah, I, I do you know too. What I mean? And um, like take for instance. I'll give you a good case of points that they're going around Muskegon. Okay. ATV use on roads. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, off-road vehicles like side by sides and and uh, maybe golf carts and that kind of thing. Okay. Some municipalities are saying, um, yes, we 
we were okay with that. Other municipalities are like, well, we don't really need to. Some mm-hmm. municipalities are like, well, what do we need a, a law on the books for? Because they're doing it anyway, and who cares? They're, you know, mm-hmm. they're all farmers, and they've got to move right. here to there. Oh, so we don't really need a law. But now when you get into that kind of thing, you start dealing with crossing over county lines. You start dealing over mm-hmm. with crossing over township lines. You start dealing with those kind of snags that might hit a police officer who pulls somebody over and say this township where they do have yeah. the ordinance or that township where they don't have the ordinance. Can you see this, the stack up of? Yeah, it, it can. Yeah, developed? it can be complicated. Yes, th- that is 100 percent an issue. But again, I, I do fall back to let let and it can be complex. And if okay. you're out of your jurisdiction, you're out of your jurisdiction. That's just the way it is. I, but I understand how it, that can be an issue, but I so think for you, I, but I think for me, I think the, the individual, if it's somebody state in a golf individual cart, municipality, if it's I, like something golf like cart that, and they can outrun the cops from township to township out of the jurisdiction, then they, you win. know, I, yeah, I, I kind of like the Dukes. Uh, yeah. Kind of. Yeah. That's what okay, they used to right, do. Hey, yeah, you, uh, like. you can't, we're out of, we're out of this County. All right. We're out of we're out of there now. Sheriff Lobo's got to deal with us, and uh, right. if we if we hit Orly, Roscoe Roscoe has us down in in uh, Hazard in Hazard. But when I get to Orly County, then I got to deal with Sheriff Lobo, and that's a whole nother kettle of fish. Just wanted to make sure you're I'm clear where you're at. Okay, good. There you go. All right. And if you I'm I'm shocked you're not you're not impressed by both the Roscoe and Sheriff Robo, Lobo I was, references. I was so blown away. I was speechless. Now I know that's going to mean nothing to anybody under the age of fifty, but I don't care. He's our sheriff Lobo. Sheriff Lobo, mighty sheriff Lobo, heart of gold, old Lobo, keep us strong. Is that keep... what they said? And then they switched it to the Ray. Then they switched it to the Ray Charles because then Lobo goes to Atlanta, and the show is completely different. Oh. And then you have the Ray Charles singing Georgia on my mind as the opening theme. Uh, to I, Sheriff Lobo. I didn't know there was a second act. No. Yes, there days. was. You're welcome. Whipping a little knowledge on you. That's, that's what I do. Blown away. Yeah, that's what, I'm showing my depth. Mm. All right. Finally, the Food and Drug Administration has issued a recall for dunking cookies sold at local Meyer stores. The Meyer Dunking Cookies chocolate chip have been recalled because they have undeclared milk in them in them or in them. Somehow I mispronounced the word them. Uh, This could apparently sicken those who have a milk allergy. Mm. Uh, This seems dumb to me. I mean, if you have a milk allergy, you shouldn't be eating cookies anyway. You can't have cookies without milk. Okay. No, you can't. I have cookies Cookies suck without without milk. And don't try to have cookies with lactate or whatever that fake milk is. No. Have regular milk, skim, 2% 2% whole, I don't care, yeah. but that's all that goes with cookies. And if you can't consume milk, if you're lactose intolerant, no cookies for you. Oh, sorry. Okay. Well, I, sorry, sir. I disagree. Not wait. Seven up in cookies. Are you shitting me? <laughs> diet seven. What the? Di- oh, oh, that makes it better. What do you dip your cookie in the diet seven up? What kind of freak show are you? Holy listen, cow. Listen. I thought I knew everything about you that there was to know that was weird. Listen, and now you throw the diet dogs. seven up and <laughs> listen, listen, no, fish sticks. it's mustard. Stop. Yeah. Fish sticks. Definitely fish sticks and ketchup. Yes. This coming from the man who eats minced fish uh, brought to you by the Gordon's fisherman. Critique. Damn Skippy. Dipped in ketchup. If it's good enough for Gordon's, it's good enough for me. Yeah, that's yes. right. You and your palate, my friend. Yeah. Damn Skippy. Yep. That's how. That's how daddy rolls. All right. So he rolls. Sports. Sports. Tigers were off. Cubs lose. Cubs lose. Cubs lose. They fall to Cleveland 9 8. Michigan, the Wolverines, you're defending national champions, ranked number nine. Did I mention in the first? How awesome the University AP of Michigan is. Have we talked about top 25. their list of graduates? I mean, entire crews that went up in space. And uh-huh. the whole the whole friggin' spaceship. Allegedly. With, Allegedly. Oh, no, they went up. They went up. They, they were there. Now, I didn't somewhere. say moon landers on this one. I we didn't say moon landing. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. You're right. Jury's Just out. Me carefully, because this is where they, this is where the men get separated from the boys. The people okay. who can pay attention. Uh-huh. Gemini 
on the on the Gemini flights. Gemini, well, Gemini is what we called it when you're the astronaut, you know. Because why would they say it wrong, and why would they not say Gemini? Well, because maybe it's not Gemini. It is Gemini. Gemini. It's not entire crews on Gemini were from the University of Michigan. So, entire crews at McDonald's may have graduated from your school. What do we? I am fantastic. Something to think about. Uh huh. Name calling for six hundred today in Jeopardy. See how quiet you get when I point out how awesome Michigan is. Look, it, it's. Let me tell you about. Uh, yeah, the I did that Michigan. story. Knowing me, here's you, the thing. Let, just just shh, oh, fine. Go phone. ahead. The University <laughs> of Michigan is a universal beacon of light. Everything about the U of M is absolutely incredible, from their golf course to their buildings, to the way that they're set in Ann Arbor, to the way that they they nurture young minds. The fascination yeah, yeah. with the incredible amount of learning. The way they burn out those brain cells with hash bash every oh, year? Okay, okay. Oh, fine. no. Hey, I'm not anti-hash bash. You want to go? Michigan is a great place to get, you know, if you want to major in hacky sack and, and, you know, I'm just saying, lava lamps, listen, good for you. It's okay I to be hurt you. over the fact all. that hey, U of is a global beacon of knowledge. I gave you, I, I did that story. Yep. I gave you that. I said, defending national champions. Defending I did that knowing this is how, champions. this is how, this is how, how, what's the word? How objective I am as a defending Michigan State fan. How, national how, champions. uh, because again, I'm one of the, one of the last remaining journalists, either sports or news left on planet earth. Right. In a, in, in a industry that's completely, almost completely, totally dead. Right. Uh, m- I'm objective. I did that story knowing you were going to be an utter and complete, total Wolverine douchebag about oh, it. I knew why it. Why would you say I that? Knew you would. I knew no you would. I knew you would. I knew you'd crap all over East you know, Lansing. Do you know why pulling it is? The little, pulling the big brother, little brother bullshit. Do you know, why it, brother, brother you know why it is? I've got this okay, new go birth ahead. of confidence. Go ahead. It's my new body. Oh, body that's body. right. I forgot. Right. I'm you are getting yourself in. Yeah. That's right. I'm going to be you and I are hit, you and I are hitting the gym later. No, no, we're not. Yeah, we are. I will go nowhere with you that the potential for nudity is involved. I'm like, sorry. Oh, there's no nudity. Uh-huh. Sure. Shorts and a t- shorts and a T-shirt. There you go. I can That's just sports. see you roaming around the locker room at the uh, gym there. In, uh, uh, there's. Where do you live again? I'm not, you know, we're not. Gonna anyway, do this. are we, are we going to do Jeopardy? Let's do Jeopardy. Let's do it. You said uh, name today. calling. Name calling. In the 1970s, he devised a maneuver using air expelled from the lungs to dislodge foreign bodies and choking victims. That would be Heimlich. Heimlich. You know what? Sounds like the action itself. The Heimlich maneuver. We're just going to go ahead. Oh, wait a minute. 600. Yeah, that's right. I, we're going to go ahead and give you $600 today. Dave Cackley, look at you. Look at me. Look at you. You went from a frazzled... Completely ill-prepared, uh, somewhat um, reputable journalist to winning mm-hmm. Jeopardy today. That, sir, is an accomplishment. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm a renaissance man. I'd like you to go home and put a star on the fridge today. That is going there. A gold one. Yeah, we'll go silver. No, so, go gold. Know. This one's from me. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'll, I, I want to be modest. Okay, we'll go we'll silver. All right. All right. See you back here tomorrow. See ya! Happy Tuesday, Muskegon. We will continue to have some fair weather as we move through the week before having some rain and some cooler weather as we move into the weekend. So let's take a look at your forecast brought to you by Trinity Health. Our weather headlines are looking very similar to yesterday. We are still expecting those mostly average temperatures for the first part of the week and we're expecting to stay pretty dry and mostly sunny so that will be very lovely before we have some cooler and rainier weather later in the week as we head into the weekend. And taking a look across the county today, we do see those fairly normal temperatures for this time of year. Most of our towns in those lower 80s for our high temperature of the day, but along the lakeshore, we're still a little on the cooler side in those lower 70s to those upper 60s. 
So for your Tuesday, we'll have mostly sunny skies with a high around 82 degrees with some very, very light winds out of the west around 1 to 3 miles per hour. And now tonight we will cool down to about 59 degrees with partly cloudy skies and some again very light winds out of the west around 1 to 3 miles per hour. And again, tomorrow we will see very similar weather to what we will see for today with a high around 83 degrees and sunny, sunny skies before we have some rain rolling in starting on Thursday with this new low pressure system that's moving in. So for your Thursday, we'll have that 40% chance of some rain during the day with a high around 82 degrees and a 70% chance of some rain overnight with some additional very small chances for some thunderstorms overnight. Again, then into Friday, we will see more rain, a 60% chance then for some rain during the day and a 40% chance overnight with a high for your Friday around 79 degrees. Then your Saturday will still see a little bit more rain with a 40% chance during the day, a high around 80 degrees and a 40% chance then overnight lingering on into Sunday morning now, which we see a 30% chance for some AM showers with mostly sunny skies then. Other Otherwise, with a high only around 78 degrees and then we do finally clear up then for Monday with a high around 79 and partly sunny skies. That's all for your Tuesday forecast brought to you by Trinity Health for the Muskegon channel. I'm Tegan Schultz and I hope you have a great rest of your day.